Hey all, uh, this is Andy from Tennis with Andy. Um, so I'm gonna take you on a little tour, let you know what I've been doing the last four months, why the posts have been a little less frequent, and voila. So here we go. Um, this is my new business, Icon Tennis and Pickleball. Um, Icon, I-C-O I -C stands for the initials of my kids. And uh, Newihe, obviously, my last name. So we're open for business. Just opened a few days ago. And four months ago, I left my job um, to start this and went from scratch to a facility. So here's a little tour. We have the obvious needed big screen TV where tennis is on all the time except when my kids are here and they're playing the switch and video games my designers have these nice little like old school rackets i like it a little seating area with some balls uh so a wilson feature so wilson uh please be happy we uh featured you right here so have my actually that's my pro staff 85 um so extra duty uh, balls uh, the two kinds of the rush pro the ladies and the men's some grips leather grips um, over grips you could buy singles buy them in threes buy them in 12 some more balls some more balls uh, it's cool bag and then here's a rack racket wall now this was a feat uh, putting up this slat wall and i have to thank my buddies uh mark also known as the green lantern uh um no what am i saying i'm getting my my my, my names mixed up kevin known as the green lantern mark knows that known as a smooth operator and muhammad the big bear so here we go here are the rackets we have let's take a nice tour so i i have wilson i have head and I have Babylon. Um, Yonex, uh, Yonex, please contact me. I, I've tried e contacting you several times, but the rep actually uh, retired, so it's been hard to get in contact with the, the rep in this area. Let's straighten up that racket. So what I did is I put my, sort of my uh, players frames, uh, the, the mid pluses at the top, and then the corresponding um, lighter version or the um, ones that are slightly bigger in head size at the bottom. So we have the clashes from Wilson, uh, pro, the pro staff. Um, I haven't try, tried all these records yet. So I mean, I've, I think I've tried the clash once and I've used the 97 once, the pro staff. The new blades, we have our 1619, 1820, and the 100L and the 104. Um, curious to, to try how those are um, as well. The hundred L actually looks quite nice. Um, maybe, hmm. I, I may try that. And the shift, uh, the regular shift and the light version. And um, at least in my shift that I have, the the swing grip was like a three oh six. And the, the listed swing weight for the light is like 311. So that's kind of crazy. I wonder whether this is actually less swing weight. Okay, and then we have my Ultras. Um, just sold one of those yesterday. And the Ultra Light. And then the Juniors, the 26 inch and 25 inch Ultras. So now these are performance frames. And what I did with my son's um, racket, my, my son uses a, a 25 inch Ultra is I cut it, uh, I cut uh, one and a half inches at the bottom. So it's actually now a lot more playable for him. And it also gives you the, sort of the, the still, the performance racket feel. All right, so here I got, have my Wilson uh, Junior Rackets as well. Hopefully I'm not boring you. I'm just going through all the rackets and why I chose them. Now head, like head completely confuses me. Like I think, Initially, I was trying to go for Yonix, um, like instead of head, but I ended up getting ahead, and I'm I'm not sorry at all. Like in terms of their lines are, are quite nice. Um, 
they all are kind of similar in a way, but like, and it's still really good. So here's a speed uh, endorsed by Sinner, uh, the Radical endorsed by Taylor Fritz and the Gravity by uh, Zverev. And then I just had the, the speed late, um, I think. Uh, maybe I get when I get some some more funds, I'm gonna stock up and get the the radical lights as well as the the gravities um, lights and, and the the bigger head sizes for those. But I think for for now, like for the bigger head sizes, I kind of point people over to my clashes and um, my blades and also my Babolats, my 107. So now with the Babolat line, like this is <laughs> really confusing because we have three rackets here, uh, the arrows, and you have the pure drives. Uh, my pure strikes are actually coming in the mail, but the arrows look exactly the same, like three rackets that look exactly the same. It's kind of crazy. Um, but if you look at the fine print, let's see. So this is a regular pure arrow. This is the pure arrow 98, and this is the pure arrow light. Right, that's so totally different. Um, the 98 comes in packs of two. Um, and this one, let's see. This one, I think I sold it separately to someone. So that's a four and a quarter. I think this should be, let me look at the bottom. Is this my, my three? Oh, well, it's hard to see. I think that's my grip size three. Um, yeah, absolutely lovely racket. Uh, then my pure drives, the 107s, the lights, and just a regular pure drive. And then the junior rackets. And I do have one sort of um, recreational frame that's not performance. So that's the, the boost drive, um, the adult frame. So pretty strong. I actually sold one of those this past weekend. Oh, shoot. Knocked over. My Wilson ball, I think it's okay. All right, and then the junior rackets. So right here as well, we have the demo section. So everything here, I'm gonna have a, a demo. It's just me having the the uh, bandwidth <laughs> to string all of them. So I, I think I've strung up maybe 10 or so, and I have two demos that are out. Um, I've been hitting a lot with the Radical. Um, I know we're on a tour of the facility but like the radical i am really liking it so you see i've added some lead tape at 12 um so swing weight is at like 330 and it's one of those rackets where you have to you have to be on the offense and just maybe it's because my my strings like this hyper g 17 at 48 so you have to be on the offense or else the ball's gonna sail but if you're on the offense you can hit with good uh spin good power and um I'm really liking it. I'm gonna hit with it some more and I see why it's such a versatile racket. Plus the color looks amazing. So, oh yeah, so this is a PRO 98. So I'm gonna, uh, one of my friends wanted to, to demo this. So I strung it up with K-pop and I think it's gonna go really well with this and that K-pop is the, the, the torn line string. So it's a little crispy, um, but it gives you, um, good spin, good good pop. Uh, and it's meant to sort of last six to eight hours in my mind. Like you, you either cut it out or break it by then. But you can still play with it after. So my blades and Selenko's, um, I have demos of the, the whiteout, uh, the 16, 19, 18, 20, as well as the blackout, but I didn't actually buy the rackets yet, just the demos. So a lot about tennis. So tennis, um, oh yeah, my shoes. So have my Diodoras, my Babolats, Wilson Pro. Um, so that's how I stocked it thus far. And oh yeah, my designers are so awesome. They got this like uh, mirror, like as a guy, I never would have thought about this, but like you sit down and then you kind of see how the shoe looks and that's there and then you can also like kind of see how it goes with your entire outfit or ensemble. So kind of cool. I kind of like it. Actually, I really like it. Then they also thought about putting this big, you know, icon tennis and pickleball. So really uh, showing off the business right here. Some bags. 
Then I have all my paddles. Um, actually, not all of them. I think I have like three or four more that are in the back room. So tennis is my passion. Pickleball is what's gonna make the money. Um, like pickleball is growing like wildfire. Uh, there were, I remember I went to a pickleball clinic and that's a, like I've, I've gone to several like tennis things in my life. This is the first time that somebody asked me like on the spot for lead tape. They're like, yeah, I was like a beginner's clinic and she was like, do I have lead tape? And I was like, uh, I have it at the store but not with me. And she was like, oh, she just wanted to try it out and see. So I was like, wow, that's pretty intense for a beginner. But the picklers are all about their stuff. So these bags, I'm gonna put up some slat wall right here and then put the bags as well as some other accessories. And then have some hats, some pickleball balls. Notice how I separated tennis and pickleball or how we separated it. Cause I know that uh, they don't mix, right? Picklers and tennis players. So the grips, um, some more bags, uh, pickleball specific grips. Then my cash wrap, I, I built some of this myself. Um, actually, I didn't build it myself. I just put the cover and that was the designer's idea. I'm eventually gonna put like the icon logo there. So forgive this mess. I have been, uh, I have my graffiti here. So I've been using that to customize rackets. Um, my scale, uh, the my uh, ruler for, for balance. So I've customized a couple of ultras um, and they've been, it was, Wilson did a really good job quality control right on spec, as well as the Pure Arrow 98s I customized um, because they came in packs of two, they're within one gram of each other. So, and then this is sort of like the candy of the store the dampeners. So as people are leaving, they're like, ooh, I want a dampener. And I was like, ah, that's a great idea. Just put it at eye level so kids could come get dampeners. I think I'm gonna put some fun dampeners in here too. All right, so we move on to my stringer. I mean, I strung a couple rackets today. This is the Bayardo light, um, really good. And um, you notice the upgrade once you go from your drop weight stringer to something like this. So I have, I was stringing with uh, NXT. So I have um, reels right now, some synthetic gut, some Turna, Big Hitter 7 Tour, um, Hyper G obviously. And then um, actually I have reels of Wasabi and Caviar from Toraline. Then here's my string wall, so as my accessories. Um, have lots of head string. I'm thinking what I'm gonna string up in the radical. I may I may use Link Store Link's Tor actually. I think it's gonna go kinda nice. And then Hyper G, my Lux Salons, and then that wants. Um then we move on to the back. So again, forgive the complete mess. I've uh still just moving in. So these are a ton of boxes back here. But yeah. These are shoes, lots and lots of shoes. I notice I only have like seven shoe lines, but I have all these boxes. Cause like with, with each shoe line, you basically have to get like a size run. So you have to get like in all the different sizes. And so basically each shoe line is like a, at least like an $800 investment. So yep, just sh sold a Rush Pro today. And uh, yeah, um, I'll probably expand the shoes because like, as I tell people, like, I'd rather have nice shoes and um, and an okay racket um, than have, like, really poor shoes because you can really injure yourself with, with the poor shoes. So, but, yeah, so that's what I've been doing. Um, hopefully, I'll have a chance to post some more. But just want to say hi, say hello, let you know I'm still, I'm still here doing my thing. And I'm living my dream at Icon, Tennis, and Pickleball. So take care and signing off. This is Andy from Tennis with Andy. Play smart and see your results.